Man has performed useful tasks with conventional explosives for centuries, but he has recognized and lived with their limitations. He knows that a conventional chemical explosion releases the energy that bonds atoms into molecules. But he also knows now that there is a far greater source of energy within the atom itself, the energy that holds together the heart of the atom, its nucleus. This is the energy released in a nuclear explosion, energy so enormous that man must express the yield or energy release of nuclear explosives in terms of the tons, thousands of tons, or millions of tons of TNT required to produce an equal amount of explosive energy. But in grasping the full potential of peaceful nuclear explosives, man looks not only to their great energy, but also to their relative size and cost. He sees that a 10 kiloton nuclear explosive, for example, could be as small as 15 inches in diameter and three feet long. The price would be about $350,000. The equivalent 10,000 tons of TNT would fill a sphere about 73 feet in diameter with a price tag of about $5 million. Furthermore, if he increases the nuclear yield 200 times, up to two megatons, the package is only about two feet greater in diameter and seven feet longer, and the price barely doubles. To increase the yield of the TNT 200 times, he would have to increase the size of the explosive 200 times, ending up with a pile of TNT weighing two million tons which would fill a Colosseum twice. And at the same time, the price of the TNT would increase 200 times, up to more than one billion dollars. Lift off, lift off. 